Hello and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about leveraging Alfresco from inside Salesforce. Now you're probably wondering if you should be watching this video. Well, here's a couple of questions to help you get to that answer. Do you have Salesforce? Do you have Alfresco? Do you store documents inside Salesforce? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, it probably makes sense to watch this video. So let's get started. Here we are in Salesforce, and of course, we're at an account record, the account being MSI International. And on this account record, you see the things you might normally see, some activity going on or plan to go on, related contacts, other accounts you've accessed. This would be the new piece. This is actually folders and content stored inside of Alfresco, but accessible from this account record. Now what's nice is these folders were automatically created when the MSI International account was created. And you can have a folder structure created automatically for any type of record you've got. So whether it be an opportunity object or a custom object, when those are created, you can have automatically created the needed folders inside of Alfresco. Therefore, allowing you to store your content in Alfresco and not pay to have it stored inside of Salesforce. And you can access it very easily. Now, how you access it is really up to you. In other words, we can configure the behavior of how this content is accessed on, based on your needs. So what I mean by that is, here's a non-disclosure agreement. I can configure where I click it, and it automatically pops up the full Alfresco digital workspace. And I right click and here's, you know, edit Word online. So for multi-user editing, I can do that right from here. Download files, share the file, that kind of stuff. So I can have it where it automatically takes me to the ADW full-blown interface. I can also turn around and click, say, upload documents, and it'll take me into the folder, the subfolder, all right? And I can view them this way. So how you want the actions to happen is up to you. Now, the other piece I want to show you is this exact example, client uploaded documents. So, so what is that? Well, we've got clients that will go off and have a portal, if you will, a community inside of Salesforce and have clients upload the documents to that portal or community. The idea is when they do that by virtue of business rules that are set up, it will automatically work its way into this folder. So the clients go upload the files, they work their way into the, in this case, account object for uploaded documents. And if I wanna review these quickly and easily, I go over here to actions, because you see a number of actions, all right? One of them is profile. So I'm gonna click profile, and what happens is up pops the first document in that folder for me to review. Now, this is a DocuSign document uh, from our, our DocuSign integration for Alfresco. But anyway, the idea is to show you that when I click on the profile, it automatically fires up a preview and I can quickly go through these documents, review them, add any metadata. And of course, this is example metadata based on this, this uh, implementation. You may have different metadata. You see the little asterisks because that's for required fields because you may have required fields. And then I just hit save and next, and the next document pops up. And here's the next document. I can look at the non-disclosure agreement. Same thing, whatever my metadata is, I can go through my metadata, make sure I've got the appropriate updates here. All right. And when I'm done looking at my metadata and I validate this document is good or bad, and remember, in your review, you may do some metadata work that triggers off a workflow that says, oh, I need this looked at or what have you. All right. But the idea is I could quickly get through all my documents. So hit save the next, and of course, the next document pops up, all right? So as you can see, you can quickly and easily navigate through those documents, that would be these right here, navigate through those documents, preview them, edit them, edit it, and of course, access them. So what did you learn? Well, you learned you can create folders in Alfresco automatically from Salesforce. You can also access Alfresco content from inside Salesforce. And you can control the actions or behavior of that content from inside Salesforce. So what are your next steps? Well, it's time to reach out to MicroStrategies so we can help you like we help our other clients.